Uh, dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss the types of artificial teeth in terms of selection, uh, the size, the mode, the color of the teeth. So we have uh, many guidelines to follow through uh, this lecture. Uh, starting with the denture teeth, uh, there are numerous range of the teeth are available from a number of manufacturers and uh, the, the main criteria for selection of the anterior teeth are aesthetic. Although the material type also in terms of acrylic, composite, porcelain is sometimes a consideration. Now, acrylic teeth have uh, advanced uh, significantly in recent years and are often made from highly cross-linked acrylic that improves wear resistance uh, and uh, color stability. Now, the more advanced teeth are produced from numerous layers of different colored acrylic, resulting in excellent aesthetic properties, and this already ha uh, has been set by the manufacturer companies. Now, composites are generally harder and longer lasting than acrylic, uh, and uh, of course having uh, superb aesthetic properties. Although the, the disadvantages uh, of uh, such a teeth uh, is the uh, reduced bone strength to the underlying acrylic denture-based material. Many of these teeth have an acrylic core which can sometimes be uh, ground thin or even ground away completely when fitting the teeth. This may be uh, resolved uh, by providing mechanical retention to the under, uh, underside of the teeth. Uh, in terms of porcelain teeth, are less common but are available also. The retention to the denture base is achieved uh, through mechanical uh, features called diatoric holes designed into the teeth. And uh, if you notice that within the available denture teeth there is sometimes hole inside it and this is what the porcelain teeth uh, designed with uh, to give a mechanical retention with the underlying denture base material. Now in a comparison between the identical shade of the molds of acrylic to the composite uh, in, in, in term of the uh, uh, showing uh, the, the discrepancies in the color as well. Uh, now when selecting posterior teeth, the type of the occlusal arrangement should be the uh, in the principal factor. That means anatomical, non-anatomical, uh, semi-anatomical uh, uh, denture teeth. Teeth are available to suit conventional balanced occlusion, lingualized occlusion, with relatively flat occlusal surfaces for those with functional problems, as with the patient with the bruxism, uh, which they exert high pressure, and so uh, the, the flat surfaces were used in denture-based material. Uh, a range of denture teeth uh, by leading manufacturer is present and described. And generally, uh, we have many uh, companies uh, regarded uh, different styles and uh, systematic uh, modulated uh, for the teeth uh, uh, to be available in different shade and size and uh, different for different patients in, uh, in different ages. Now, uh, the selection of the teeth also uh, regarded, for example, the digital photography. The digi digital photography is uh, hugely helpful in, uh, and, uh, in storing and communicating patient information, existing dentures, patient face shape uh, and profile, as well as before and after uh, shoots uh, are uh, invaluable in achieving satisfactory denture. Now, for prosthetic work, most modern digital cameras are capable of achieving a, 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 satisfact, a, a satisfactory portrait and uh, profile picture. Uh, uh, to get the best uh, from the camera, uh, we have, for example, uh, position, uh, the, the position, uh, uh, if we position uh, the subject in a well-lit 
uh, but not directly uh, sunlight area. Uh, that means for the camera, uh, the, uh, the white balance, the camera, then uh, select the portrait mode and then sh uh, shoot, uh, taking the shoot at this uh, point. Uh, now, uh, the, the the old photographs also available and help in selection the inter teeth in terms of old photographs showing the patient when they have their own teeth and are smi uh, smiling are very valuable as a guy the characteristic that they had in their natural teeth can be replicated in the denture teeth with the patient's agreement of course now the teeth can then be aged to match the patient's current age if a, a, a significant time difference exists between the age of the photograph and the patient's current uh, age, of course. Uh, also, uh, this in term of the selection of, of the teeth, uh, also we have different points re regarding the types of artificial teeth in term of aesthetic. W we've uh, mentioned that the selection of anterior teeth select an aesthetic uh, from the aesthetic point of view, while the posterior teeth, it depends on the type of the teeth, whether they are uh, anatomical, non-anatomical, uh, or uh, semi-anatomical uh, uh, denture teeth. Uh, now the aesthetic, the glossal registration stage should be incorporated the position of the anterior teeth, or at least the selection of size, shape, and shade. The, uh, the, the, the one of the factors that affecting the uh, 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 helpful in selecting the artificial teeth, duplicating aesthetics. The most reliable method of achieving the, the desirable appearance is to copy the arrangement of the patient natural teeth or that form previous uh, of a previous denture it like by the patient. Uh, now, in, in the natural teeth, as I mentioned, the digital photograph or picture of natural teeth uh, uh, useful in determining the shape and the size of the teeth and uh, should be used, uh, the appropriate mold can be selected and um, aged uh, by creating wear and staining. We will discuss that later on. Uh, in in, in terms also of the picture of the patient showing their teeth, it is possible to estimate the size of the teeth by the using uh, a calculation, for example. And the calculation where uh, we can measure the interpapillary distance uh, on the patient uh, and divide this by the interpapillary distance on the photograph, uh, this will multiply uh, by the width of the two incisor teeth on the photograph and then divided this by two give us the width of the one central incisor and uh, as the lecture attached uh, 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 as a pdf uh, to you dear students you can try to figure out from any uh, photograph that you have to have this measurement and uh, is by uh, have a calculation between the interbabillary distance okay divide this by the interbabillary distance on the photograph then multiply this to the width of the two uh, incisors of the photograph divided all of that uh, by two and you will get the width of one central incisor and from that you can uh, know the size of the of the teeth for the patient this measurements of the central incisor width can then be used to select the correct width of teeth required from the appropriate mold chart uh, and this depends on the manufacturer as well now, from the existing denture, uh, the, uh, having an impression of the existing denture allows the technician to easily copy and features of the existing denture that are to be retained. A, photographs, uh, uh, a, a photograph uh, of the patient wearing their denture can be uh, also be useful in establishing uh, shortfalls uh, or uh, positive aspects about the denture appearance. Uh, now, the selecting of the denture teeth in terms of size, for example, and to establish uh, the overall width of the six anterior teeth, the, the distance between the canines can be determined uh, using different methods. So, uh, in, in this point, making the corner of the mouth uh, 
uh, make, uh, marking the corners of the mouth on the rim uh, uh, with the mouth at rest. Uh, and uh, the measurements can now be taken directly from uh, the rim, as uh, in the image on the left side here. You can notice here. Now, using the straight edge aligned with the inner uh, can, uh, thus of the eye and the ulla of the nose, to find uh, uh, the position of the canine. Again, this is marked directly on the rim. Now, measuring the width uh, of the nose at its widest point with the mouth at uh, raised at 5 mm to this measurement to allow for the curvature of the teeth. Now, uh, we can use a lameter, for example, here. If we either using the, the ruler here or the lameter, which is supplied by a sheet from the manufacturer regarding the angle that we have at the rest position to give us the width of the uh, tooth supplied by co uh, actually uh, is supplied by the condylar company to give an estimate of the tooth size required by using the maximum width of the nose. This device suggests the mold the numerous from the condylar range, uh, which is uh, really appropriate. Now, the width of the uh, two central incisor may be estimated using the philtrum as well. Uh, here we can use the philtrum. So, if you don't have uh, or you don't want to use one of these steps, you can use this technique with the filter. Now, the, the, the width of the two central incisor may be estimated using the filter width. Uh, and this related to the central incisor, which it is, should be equal to or greater than the height of the smile line above the incisor edge. This high smile line should ideally be marked onto the wax rim of the registration rim during the registration stage by the uh, clinician. Now, larger central incisors should be used for people with the high lip line, those of large uh, stature, and those with large faces. So, with the with the uh, appropriate smile, the, the 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 end of the philtrum will be with the end of the two central incisors, and from that we can uh, we can manage or determine the location uh, uh, and the size of the two central incisors. Okay, uh, high uh, sh the smile should be appropriate, not with the high. Uh, here it is uh, a little bit stretchy, uh, which may be losing the philtrum away from the lines that we have. But with the appropriate smiling, s slight smiling, we will get the the to determine the size of the two central uh, of one central and then the position of two centrals here. Now, in terms of the shade, color is described using term value, lightness, uh, the value, the chroma, and the uh, hue. The value related to the lightness, and the chroma is the saturation, and the hue is the color. So, uh, for example, uh, looking to this uh, guide sheet, which it is available uh, with any type of the restoration uh, or denture based uh, kits. Uh, the, the, the selection were based on these uh, depending on the lightness, the value of the tooth should be first be selected uh, and harmonized with the patient. And of course, this should be in, uh, not uh, uh, in, the, in the daylight, using the daylight. Do not use the uh, uh, chair, uh, dentist chair light because the, the color should be matching the natural, uh, uh, the, the teeth uh, uh, in, in natural light. Now, we should also make sure that the, 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 the darker teeth should be selected for the older patient. So, first of all, the lightness, that means the value. So, if I'm selecting the, 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 it should be either this, A, B, C, D, 
and whatever this is depend on the skin of the patient the the uh, criteria based in terms of partial denture is different than the complete denture we 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 can control the complete denture term of the skin only but if we have partial denture then the the selection should be according to the adjacent and uh, opposing teeth and in terms of consequences we know that the anterior teeth lighter than the posterior teeth and the gradual uh, lightness going uh, backward now uh, that means become darker. Now, uh, the, the, the elderly patient with the denture teeth that are too light in color for his age and skin tone, and more suitable shade for truth has been selected. And for example, here with, the, with his age, this, uh, uh, this picture with the 50s and here with the 60s and this, the selection of the teeth the lightness it depends on the uh, the age and progress once the the, the lightness w selected has been selected the color that means the saturation of chroma should be chosen that means first of all for example if i select a3 now i'm going to select the saturation within the same fan that i have with the uh, a3 here is a, a uh, for example uh, it's either a b c d or it is a1 a2 a3 and then a3 subdivided into parts the teeth divided either in subdivision uh, small letters or uh, another uh, numeric uh, uh, digits now, uh, the, now the chroma should be chosen. Uh, this property can be varied between the teeth to give a saturation appearance. For example, if a darker canine is required, the next available chroma may be selected. Uh, in uh, in, in uh, term of uh, the selection in this uh, part. Now, the color of the teeth, the hue, then should be chosen this uh, 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 this is the property to which the human eye is less sensitive the hue the the, the classic shade guide uh, can also be used by uh, rearranging the shade tapes using the following uh, protocol for example determining the lightness value or level we hold the sh uh, shade guide to the patient mouth at arm's length uh, select from one, two, three, four, or five. Okay. We have this image, for example. And please notice this image here on the left side of the slide. So, starting with the first of all, we select, for example, the lightness from one, two, three. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then start your selection with the darkest group. That means, uh, first of all, maybe I select this one, two, and then within the darkness of this, I select that. Which one the darkness? Okay. Uh, with the darkness. Now, now selecting from this. Which one the darkness? Now, uh, number two, select the chroma. The chroma within the, uh, the tape. Now, using the lightness level chosen, take out the middle hue group, the middle one, okay? Taking the middle one, which is this, and comparing to the middle one, to the right and to the left, because within this and within this, we have many other additional groups located between these. Okay, here the chroma. First of all, the lightness. Then the chroma, but taking the middle one. Spread the sample out like a fan. Select the one of the three shades sample that matches best. Now we select the hue, in term of a hue. Check whether the teeth required should be more reddish, yellowish. Okay, so it is either reddish or yellowish between after selecting the middle one to compare our tooth with that and with that, we will use these artificial denture teeth uh, shade guide to, uh, in terms of whether it, the teeth more reddish or more yellowish, okay?
Now, other tooth manufacturer shade guide may not be as comprehensive as the Vita, for example. This is uh, Vita type, uh, Vita 3D Master, but should be used using the same principles in terms of, first of all, the lightness, then the uh, chroma, and the heel. Uh, there are many different shades of polymethene methacrylate available in the market to suit every ethnic skin tone. Different shade for the European, for the Middle East, for the Asian, in terms of uh, uh, people with the dark uh, skin color or light skin color. Uh, all of these, the BMMA shade guide, the available from good manufacturer, although they are very rarely used, for example, in the practice. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the uh, different uh, types and the modification there. Now the shape, teeth molds are available. Uh, for example, we can notice that the 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 uh, the, the, the shape, uh, the, the color of the teeth for a different shade of the uh, PMMA can have a dramatic effect on the choosing of the tooth shade. Uh, and you can notice, for example, in this image, uh, the, the teeth with the skin uh, or with the gingiva related also to the skin color of the patient. This will be different. I cannot use, for example, this type of teeth uh, uh, with, with, the, with the dark colored. Uh, this will be really uh, dismatching or something uh, affect the, the aesthetic. Uh, so, in, in terms of the shape as well, the teeth molds are available for patient. Uh, and also we have, for example, different shades with, with the denture teeth. Uh, in terms of denture teeth, in comparison with the uh, acrylic denture based material. Now, in terms of uh, shape uh, as, uh, as well, uh, now we have also the, the, the teeth molds, which is, uh, are available for patients with round, square, and tapered faces. Uh, uh, each is available in, in a range of sizes, of course. Uh, and uh, the use of the patient all denture, uh, if they are happy with, with the teeth, we can use that. Select the teeth based on the inverted shape of the patient face. So, for example, if I have, for example, a square or tapered or ovid so the 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 selection will be the the inverted shape of the face uh, in term of selection of the teeth so the selection of denture teeth can be based on the inverted shape of the patient face to determine whether the teeth should be square tapered ovoid or uh, oblong of course there is a mix between them uh, the selection of the teeth based also on the shape of the patient upper palate as well uh, sometimes the, the shape of the uh, palate the arch in terms of palette as well. So this will give the shape, for example, of the square uh, patient, uh, the square face, uh, the, 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 the palette will be square, so uh, the, 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 the arch will be square, and then the selection of the teeth should be sharp in demarcation, like a square. And so on with the oval and the ovid or tapering. Too. Uh, the, uh, where no record of the patient natural teeth are available, uh, the patient facial feature can be used to aid the selection. So uh, we don't have a, a, a digital photo, uh, so we are using the patient profile. And here, for example, this is giving a general uh, demarcation uh, for the selection of the teeth. And here, for example, there are uh, uh, samples where the shape of the face or the profile of the face regarding the type of the uh, and, and the the, uh, sel the selection of the denture uh, uh, artificial denture teeth so the, the and uh, and also this may be uh, effect in in, in terms of arrangement of the teeth and we will discuss that later on now uh, if we are looking to the shape of the patient uh, if it is square teeth so the, the square set face, uh, the, uh, it's used uh, for square set face and strong feature. 
here, for example. Uh, and the ovoid. And we have tapering here, the tapering one, the rectangular. Okay? So whether square, ovoid, tapered here, or rectangular. Okay? Now the tooth arrangement, the arrangement of the teeth also affects the, 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 the term of the, the arrangement of the teeth is also a decision that should be made with the patient. A uh, full question to ask include the following. Uh, should the new denture teeth replicate the old denture? Should they be a, a standard arrangement? Should they be arranged to copy the patient natural teeth? This is depends on the uh, the favorable ask by the, the, the patient himself uh, or herself uh, in terms of uh, either uh, using the f uh, old photograph or in terms of uh, this related to the to the stage can uh, uh, can the patient uh, go through uh, in terms of uh, selecting. Uh, the teeth. Uh, now, uh, the uh, we discussed that the positioning of the teeth affect also the type of artificial teeth. So, the positioning of anterior teeth, for example, uh, the, the it it is. Uh, very often difficult to personalize the anterior teeth to a, 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 an individual patient. Uh, the modification of the basic or standard, uh, this depends on uh, many factors, okay? Uh, in uh, in terms of the reflect outstanding facial characteristic, uh, the individuality of the patient. The teeth are usually positioned to be identical on both sides, but sometimes, uh, this related to the profile uh, of the uh, to the uh, to the general image after smiling and to the profile of the patient. Uh, the other tips to be achieved in uh, natural look include the following: to ensure that the incisal plane, uh, for example, parallel to the lip line. So, if the patient, for example, has a paralysis or defect with the uh, orbicularis oris muscle. So we should manage to set the teeth in terms of something related to aesthetic for anterior parts. So the setting of teeth, if you notice, it may be modified to be a natural and no one can notice this is really artificial denture teeth. This is most commonly with the, in the European countries because they don't look to identical things. Uh, they are looking for uh, to be uh, a natural as you used to in some modification in term of not affect the disocclusion or not affect the the occlusion in term of balancing uh, of the teeth uh, whether uh, uh, a line with the long axis of the central incisor with the philotrum for example the the uh, more masculine appearance and uh, the curve on the centrals the uh, the, uh, the the latter uh, actually the lateral and canines can be rotated mesially or uh, appear wider to match the widening effect, flattening them. All of these were affect the positioning of the teeth uh, as well. So give a sharpness, make the teeth uh, less inclined in, in terms of setting tooth by tooth. Uh, um, uh, uh, lateral line canines can also uh, rotate it distally to make them a bit narrower. So if you want to make the, the, the lateral and canines wider, we can rotate them easily. If we want to make them narrower, so we can make the setting of, of these teeth uh, uh, distally. So if we notice here that this is actually the, the, the in term of uh, uh, whether we are looking for narrow, uh, uh, narrow or wider anterior point uh, aesthetic uh, in, in term of the high lip line and the contact between them, uh, these are natural 
and we we need to replicate such a things. Now the angle of the labial surface on the central and lateral incisor can be arranged uh, such that they confirm uh, the, uh, for example. Uh, can be arranged uh, to confirm uh, to the line drawn from the angle uh, of the forehead. For example, here with this patient, uh, we don't have an identical two sides. Uh, and look to the smile line. So if you want to replace uh, any artificial teeth or we want to, in terms of setting the teeth for aesthetic purpose, uh, in terms for anterior teeth, we should put in our minds that the setting of the teeth should be aesthetically if with the facial expression as well uh, the central lateral scissor can be positioned to follow a, a deviation of the nose so uh, it is not identical here not identical much so the the midline here so the setting of the teeth should be in term of follow the deviation of the nose here and probably the deviation of the nose here now the uh, the angle of the canine also uh, should be uh, made to harmonize with the angle of the cheek as well. The lower incisor should be placed to create a natural angle uh, for the lower lip. Uh, the the actual position of the lower incisor can be controlled by uh, the clinician. Uh, for example, the pos uh, in in, uh, in term of uh, many. Uh, technicians and dentists tend to concentrate on the maxillary teeth as far as aesthetic is concerned because there is this related to the high lip line in terms of aesthetic asymmetric setting uh, 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 while the mandibular and tear teeth are just as important but still uh, the, the the vision of the lower anterior teeth is less uh, susceptible uh, to, to be figured by the by the the others uh, in terms of creating more natural appearance okay uh, now uh, we also we have a masculine and uh, a feminine feature in terms of general square well-defined teeth create for masculine appearance while the sub uh, subtler or more rounded teeth molds are selected to create a feminine appearance now this shows a typically masculine looking set of teeth whereas shows a typical feminine looking set of teeth uh, for example here in in the image uh, which one is the for the uh, this is for the masculine and this is for the feminine and we can notice the angle here where this reflects the masculinity and the feminist uh, of the uh, patient even using the same tooth, we can, for example, uh, if we, we don't have uh, a special uh, teeth, artificial teeth, in terms of uh, for for uh, females or males, we can we can make the setting is more vigorous. So the setting of the teeth, in terms of this is for male, the same set of teeth used for female arrangement. Uh, changing the shape of the teeth. Uh, has been selected and the size of the shape slightly wrong um, uh, mostly they have different uh, uh, where teeth have been selected and the size or shape is slightly wrong the teeth can be reshaped for example using a tungsten pair and silicon uh, polishing pair uh, often only the labial surfaces and incisal edges need to be adjusted to create a different tooth shape without the need for trimming the mesial and distal surface. So it's only the labial surfaces and incisal edges. Uh, produce anterior teeth with perfect incisal edges. Uh, also, we can be used the majority of the denture wearers. Uh, for example, uh, uh, different changing the shape of the teeth uh, uh, in terms of grinding it. Uh, now, the similarity in the shape of the tooth can be changed by adjusting the gingival contour, for example. So, uh, the same set of teeth can be used by different gingival contouring this will give different uh, feature as well so we have different points to put in our minds in terms of selecting the teeth shape size uh, and uh, 
the shape, the size, uh, and the color as well, and, and the gingival form in terms of the age of the patient. Now, the color of the canine, mostly that, one, one of the simplest yet effective characterization is to change the color of the canine teeth and break up uniformity of the denture canines, are always significantly darker in the natural dentition, and copying this natural feature improves the appearance of denture hugely. Having the canine half to one shade darker than the central and scissor teeth, uh, here for example, the supplier showing us that there are many sets of teeth, also within the set of teeth we have darker shade of canine additional. So if this doesn't suit the patient, so we can use the darker and it can be a substitute for them. <coughs> uh, the anterior denture teeth are usually supplied together, however, some manufacturer will sell individual birds to allow darker canines to be placed. And this is actually uh, depends on the, on the restoration itself. Uh, providing wear, uh, in terms of uh, uh, mimic the aesthetic <coughs> or mimic the natural appearance of of the patient uh, before uh, losing the natural teeth, most dentures we are tend to be elderly and would have worn down their natural teeth. And also because of the resorption of the bone and because of the uh, um, um, mislosing the, the tightness of the muscles of the mastication and the TMJ problems. So mostly we have a grinded teeth or weird teeth. Uh, if natural aesthetic are to be achieved, uh, the teeth will benefit from having the appropriate amount of wear such that they look uh, as if wearing over each other has shaped them. Uh, for example, as in this uh, image, so this, uh, the setting of the teeth will be and the grinding will be according to that. The natural teeth wear uh, in several ways. The first wear facts develop through attrition as a, uh, the opposing teeth occlude. Uh, for example, this type of wear is best uh, recreated at the grinding uh, in a stage after the denture have been processed. During lateral and protrusive excursion of the antagonist contact can be ground to effectively simulate the amount of wear that uh, would be expected of someone of the patient age. Um, for example, and uh, in terms of the teeth exclusion uh, uh, as well. Uh, the, the, the teeth also wear through abrasion of the teeth uh, due to the uh, create deeper abrasion cavities, uh, uh, for example, uh, staining uh, of, the, uh, of the neck of the uh, teeth as well. So uh, staining teeth, uh, the characterizing of the teeth uh, using stain is, uh, is uh, most useful uh, where natural. Heavily stained teeth remain and the color match is required. <coughs> so with the artificial teeth, we should put in our minds how to create such erosion, for example, within the teeth and the stain within the teeth. <coughs> Staining of individual teeth can help uh, to distinguish a complete denture, particularly in a uh, conjunction with the wear facts. The, the, uh, for example, the, in, in terms of uh, showing uh, the characterization, the effect uh, can be created. To the staining, uh, staining kit also may be available in terms of final touches for the denture before delivery. Uh, as well. So uh, in terms of uh, staining the teeth here, uh, we use erosions, we have staining the teeth, we have this kit uh, for the staining and uh, sometimes we're using the gingiva staining or the teeth staining to make sure this will be look like natural. Uh, dealing with the high lip and smile lines uh, in this uh, situation, it is not possible to fold the entire smile with the teeth as the result uh, should be a natural with the long teeth. Uh, the best solution is to use a tooth mold that helps for the smile line. So if maybe we are using large teeth. Uh, the uh, for that, but to concentrate on creating a natural gingival contour as well. First, the shape of the gingival margin should be uh, produced to reveal the neck of the teeth. Uh, the wax is uh, 
symmetric uh, uh, in symmetrical way carved uh, to create gingival margins uh, that matches the age of the patient. Uh, the interproximal area should be managed. Uh, for example, the the uh, the wearing, for example, here is matching. The, the, the gingival uh, and the, the, the uh, should be uh, a little bit a neck, uh, the neck of the teeth uh, appeared. The, the contouring, the interproximal area as well, because uh, with the older patient, it's, there is a gum recession, so we can notice here that, that the contact or between the inter, uh, dental papillary area and the stippling here, for example, we should mimic that. The gingival staining, in terms of gingival st staining, the darker hair, sometimes uh, we don't have the same match for the uh, patients, uh, for example, with the uh, patients with the dark color uh, skin. Uh, we have a denture base, but we need to staining the gingival area as well to mimic or give the uh, aesthetic uh, in term uh, of that as well. Uh, this, uh, what we have uh, actually for today, what I would like you to, to read the lecture perfectly as this lecture has part one, part two, part two, three in term of selection of teeth, aesthetic, positioning of the teeth and uh, the selecting in term of masculine and feminine. So please prepare our uh, self to uh, for the quiz for the next week enumerate the types of patients face according to the shape form I would like to thank you very much for today uh, keep safe and we are looking forward to, to see you next week